Okay, so this is a strange one. There is a stack of stuff in OI10 that I absolutely love. But you know me, I tend to be a bit too honest for my own good sometimes. And I stumbled across a control that I'm not falling in love with right now. So this video is going to tell you about that control and how I can sort out the problems I'm in. So be right back after these words. Hi, you're listening to Martin and you're back with an unusual video. It is a lesson. We are going to go forward and look at different ways of working with the built-in calendar. But the control I'm not falling in love with is this new date picker. It looks great on the screen. And when you test run it, again, it looks really nice with the way that it works. And you can double click to find your years and you know it, it, it's really it's a lovely lovely control don't get me wrong and it's a microsoft control that we've wrapped i believe in oi10 um, but the biggest problem is when i'm entering these records into the system it's very difficult to tab across and then start to actually put a date in you know i've just tabbed from surname over to the date and i start typing and you know not a lot's happening what you have to do is you've, you've physically got to click on the control, find a date, move around. You know, you can change the date in here. So let's say, you know, 2010, for instance, um, and it works, but but uh, but it's a bit clunky. And, and the other thing as well is you have to turn it on and off with this checkbox. So that will stay, say that it's off, but the date still appears. So, you know, if, if I were to just let's just come out of here for a moment, um, don't save the changes. So when I test run this now, there is a bug in the, the current version where the checkbox it's enabled all the time. But once that's finished or fixed, when you come in, you're going to see a date because it has to have a date. So if you were looking through here without really thinking, you're going to think, OK, um, you know, that, that that date is the date of birth rather than having to turn it on then change it etc so for data entry it becomes in my mind a little bit clunky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that we might come back to this date in the future I really don't know so we'll go yes to that one and we'll drop on a standard edit line onto that panel and then we'll just size that accordingly um, or position it, I should say. So I'm going to go control left and I think that's probably good. And I'm going to want to have a small button to the side here. So let's just grab a push button and we'll drop that on there. And that button is going to be 24 by 24. And we'll just size that one and this is going to be button underscore date of birth date we don't want any text now i don't think i've got a calendar glyph in here i'm probably going to need to go away and find one uh, yeah okay so very very quickly there and if we just come down to the glyph now we can grab that image file make it centered and I'm going to make that one flat and the background color transparent okay that's cool now the other thing I'm going to do is on date of birth here I'm going to change the font to be underlined and I'm going to change the for color to blue. 
all will become clear in a moment okay right now what I want to do is I want the user to be able to click on date of birth and we're going to set the date in our edit line here which is going to be EDL underscore date of birth I want that to be set to today so we'll go into the events and on the click event in the script editor and forgive me I'm going to copy and paste this in let's just uh, get the formatting correct so val due or we'll change this to val today equals date Cody well brackets we just call them brackets in the UK um, and we'll then set the property for the EDL and this is going to be EDL date of birth I think and the vowel that we're going to send in is going to be today so we'll just make sure that we've got EDL DOB so we'll do a copy and we'll do a compile yes it's compiled so we'll save and close let's just make sure that that's EDL DOB which it is so we're good so then if we test run that and we click on the date of birth then we do actually get that is a date believe it or not um, let's fix that up straight away and we need to fix that up okay so in the conversion and I believe it's in here I'm going to want to have a date and the one I actually want is the long date I'm going to go for that one you can obviously pick whichever date makes sense for you um, I think that's probably good enough let's just do a double check so date of birth that that puts in today's date so we're in a clinic the baby's been born and it's born today so that's, that's a one click now what happens if we want to put a date in for somebody older well what we can do now is if we click on the button and we set the event in here on the click event now if we set the quick event to be trigger options and we are going to um, trigger the options for the previous control okay so if we do a save and a close now one of the things that we're going to need to do is to look at the tab order of our form because you'll see down here the controls that we've just put on are now at the bottom of the form so they're in the wrong place and this is where the dragging works well so the EDL DOB needs to be before the approximate age so we'll bring that up to there and the button that we're doing wants to be just afterwards because what we're going to do is we're going to click on the button and it's going to look at the previous control which should be the EDL DOB so we click OK to that and then for the options event on the edit line here see if I can find options there we go in here we will create an event which will be to um, what would be it would be show calendar picker and I think this is cool pop up underscore month brackets doing this from memory um, I'm gonna leave return one in there for the moment but I think we might need to change that so we do a compile the syntax is okay I'll just do a save on that for the moment so if we do a test run and if we then click on the button we get our drop down and we can pick on double click on a date and then we get no options are available so what I'm going to do in there I thought that might happen is on our script I'm going to stop the processing so we're going to launch the pop-up calendar 
and then we're going to stop dead. So we'll do a save and close. We'll do a test run. And then if we click on the button, I can easily pick another date. So um, what should we have? I don't know, 1986 and the 11th. And then that drops that date into our edit line. And so we've now got a button which will launch the date picker or we can just simply kick on the date of click on the date of birth um, hypertext or whatever you want to and then that will just very quickly drop that back to today so nice and easy we do need to just make sure that the control is wide enough and as you can see there um, we could do with it being just a tad wider so we'll just click on this and we'll do a shift right arrow right arrow just to walk that over to blocks and then the width will take this up to a 116 I think and that's us done so we got rid of our date time picker so this one doesn't look quite so pretty um, but for my mind now when somebody is working and we're coming through the form And we get to this control you can now do 11 07 1967 and that didn't work so you need to put the the slashes in there's probably something you can do to, to speed that up but just putting the the date in there you can just type that in and now everything is working quite nicely um, and the other thing that you might want to do is have the ability to when you select all of this edit line that it selects the whole of the dates so that you can change it for the moment I can easily change that to July and come off so I can change any of these very very easily I can change that to the 11th and it's it's a lot more user friendly I think than the other date time picker control anyway that's the end of this lesson in the next one we will be getting into the pop-up thanks for now Thanks for watching.